everybody? It's January 14th, 2024, and we are hopping on the 10 freeway from the Redlands, California area to drive up to the snow in beautiful Big Bear, California. So while we're on the freeways here, it's, this is going to be a couple short little clips, but just to give you guys the uh, full experience, we're just going to show you a little bit of the drive. That's where we're going straight ahead. Those beautiful mountains right there. So as soon as we get to our next little interchange here, we're going to be taking the 210 freeway. So bear with us, or bear with me, and my belly. Alright, that's where we're going, straight ahead. Look at those mountains right there. You can't even tell there's snow up there, but there is. Hang tight, guys. I'll see you in a sec. Alright, these beautiful mountains are getting closer. They're getting closer. So two more miles till we get to the 210 freeway and we're gonna take that to highway 330 and then up we go. Don't forget to watch for the snow line. I always love watching for the snow line driving up the mountain because I am such a little kid. All I'm saying is when we're driving up, I want you to like keep, keep your eyes out for where you see the first little bit of snow finally come into play. All right, anyway guys. Okay, let's do this. We're about to hit junction 210 to get to 330 and head up to beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. We gotta get over though. We gotta get over, oh my gosh. This is gonna be exciting, you guys. This is the way that most of you come up. So those of you who haven't been up here yet this year, even though we don't have a lot of snow, it's still pretty up there. There's still snow up there. So come on up. Come on up. You know what? We'll just keep it on this. We'll just keep it on. Forget it. We'll just keep it going. Because we're not far from the 330. Springs and then over the ridge a little bit, Lake Arrowhead up up top there. And we're going all the way over there to where I've been pointing the camera most of the time to those mount that part of the San Bernardino. of all the smog and clouds. But yeah, this is my favorite mountain range just in Southern California for sure. Not just because I live here, but because it gets the most snow. It's just beautiful. And I like San Bernardino County and San Bernardino. The reason is because I love riding my Harley and I've always had an infatuation with motorcycle clubs. And since I'm a little guy, that would have never worked out for me, but the camaraderie, or at least how it used to be, is something that I was really, really interested in. And, you know, I was considering hanging around, and then if I was lucky, um, you know, get a chance to prove my worth. Highway 330. 
you folks. And this is the last gasp of major freeways. Here we go. Big Bear, 330 North. Anyway, guys, thanks for cruising with me. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Help me out. I put so much effort in, into this channel and always responding to every comment, at least for me and the time that I take to, to answer just about every single comment that comes in. I'd really appreciate you guys hooking a brother up with a like and a subscribe. Yeah, that's where we're going, that tall area, that tall mountain over there. We just gotta get through all this stuff straight ahead. And that's gonna be no problem. Let's do it. <laughs> driving up. By the way, those of you who are wondering, I drove down because I had to go to my storage unit in Colton, which is right next to Redlands, to start my motorcycle because I don't want it to have any problems. It's a really incredible Harley Davidson. So once a month while it's in my storage down the mountain, I go down to start my motorcycle for 15 or 20 minutes, stand it up so it's not just leaning on one side of its wheels for just a never-ending period of time. Yeah, just stand it up and gun it a few times. I didn't bring my helmet, so I couldn't take it for a short little ride, but I didn't have time anyway, so it's all good. It's all good in the hood while you're drinking your juice. There's my buddy Tom right there in that orange truck. We are in the San Bernardino National Forest, guys. Highway 330 on our way up to Highway 18. This will turn into Highway 18, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want to go to Big Bear, just stay on this. Do not deviate whatsoever. up and down a little bit on the fast side but I'm not rude to other drivers I'm not gonna tailgate you and scare you I always give you guys the advice that I always wanted to hear which was it's, it's, it's not a race and I know all of you know that do not speed up when someone's on your tail just to appease them do not do that that's when you'll get into a bad situation just pull out at every possible turnout that you can kind of like this little, uh, I think that's a, a Mustang or a Camaro or something in front of this Toyota Tacoma. He should be pulling out at the next turnout, like right here to let the, the faster traffic go. But you know, that's why we get so much bad traffic up here because people just are in, in many ways, just lost in their own, own, own little world, not thinking about other people. And again, he, you guys are, are going to get some really nasty drivers following you up and down these mountain roads. Do not let them get to you. Just pull out at the next exit or the next turnout that you possibly can. I promise you guys, it could be the difference between life and death. As I've said, if you speed up, look, he has all this space to pull over to let this guy who wants to race up there go. Uh, you, you have so many opportunities to pull out and let these faster drivers pass and it'll just be a lot more peace in your heart I promise you to not have to worry about trying to speed up and keep up with these people because that's not what you want to do it's so dangerous so we're coming up to where it turns into two lanes for a short period of time so we're gonna end up passing with the Toyota Tacoma guy real quick to get in front of this little sports car. My car has no guts. I mean, not. That's, and we're going to let, there's someone behind me who 
looks like he wants to, you know, get over. And it's funny because that that little sports car just switched lanes and went into the fast lane and cut off the guy. Like, what an idiot. <laughs> Seriously. Guys, you get that all the time driving up, driving up and down. Again, don't stress yourselves out, though. I pull out always, even if it's 10 different times, you guys. Again, your lives are so much more valuable than trying to appease these people because they are nasty. They will, they will literally drive like touching your bumper and it's very scary. And what made me really change my driving habits up these mountain roads was, was you guys. And then I started thinking about, my gosh, I would never want someone doing that to my mom driving up here. That would break my heart. I don't want my mom to be scared. bet is to get stuck behind a bunch of slow people just so you don't have to worry but I worry about you guys a lot driving up these mountain roads because I know how just how big time a lot of the jerks driving up and down can be again I used to be one of those guys who speeds up and down the mountain like like rapidly um, even when there was traffic I'd be finding my way around these people right now but you guys and the constructive criticism I've received over the past nine years on this channel, you guys have changed me significantly, showed me how to be a lot more respectful, a lot more patient, and I can't thank you enough. You've probably saved my life in that aspect as well. Temperature's 54 degrees. some beautiful colors driving up this mountain road right now. Once we get above these mountains, the view is going to be epic. Just pure beauty. so much power it's turbocharged and it's got a sunroof so I can stick the camera out the sunroof too if I would have had more time I would have got this car detailed because look at how filthy it is I mean that's just disgusting but it is what it is
little tiny passing area. I mean, it is a tiny passing area, and if your car doesn't have any courage, kind of like mine, it's really, really difficult. So we're probably not gonna be able to pass anybody. So we'll be patient. No problem. frustrated with people like this guy in front of us. It's like they give out driver's licenses and Cracker Jack boxes now. But again, we're not going to be frustrated about it. I got you guys riding with me, so I'm not going to, you know, fall back into old patterns. Remember, guys, <laughs> you guys are getting the real what's going on, man.
ride here, which is so illegal, but I used to like an idiot. Again, you guys have changed so much about me. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's so beautiful. I think that's going to be the thumbnail for this video. That is insane. out of the right side of the car now. Unfortunately, I can't stick my hand out the window. It's too far, but hopefully I can capture something beautiful. All right, we're coming up to the passing area, guys. This is where we're going to smoke most of these people here without having the speed. We're just actually gonna get up to the speed limit. Maybe. This is a beautiful part of the mountain. This is part of Running Springs up here and it's, it's a really beautiful part. They've got some incredible views. Hard to compete with these, these views right here. Okay, we're starting to see snow. Yay, there it is. I know a lot of people get nervous when they get up this high and they don't see any snow yet. But it's gonna get more and more, don't worry. The patches will get greater. So we 
we made it up the hardest part. And again, sorry for some some of my little bit of frustration, but you, I, I I'm sure you can kind of understand why. Just people sometimes bring their vehicles, but not their brains up here. Now we're getting into some more snow. Heck yeah. I tried to find a place to live in Running Springs. It's just really tough because there's not nearly as, as many fulfilling jobs. And most of the jobs up here are typically minimum wage jobs, which isn't bad. I'm not saying that's bad. I, I just, with everything being so expensive, minimum wage does, does not help at all. Barney's pulled out, so that's good. Now we just got a smooth, beautiful ride the rest of the way. And the sun's angle right now as it's setting, it's just going to be so beautiful the rest of this drive, you guys. I am so excited to show you guys this video. can avoid it do not get gas here wait till you get into Big Bear and then avoid the Chevron which is the first gas station in town it's like a dollar more per gallon at that gas station and even more at this one than anywhere else in Big Bear Valley if you pass Chevron in in Big Bear maybe like just over a quarter mile You'll, you'll come up to a different gas station on the corner of Pine Knot and Big Bear Boulevard. And then just past that is like a 76 station, I believe. And then the 7-Eleven gas station. And then we got AM, PM gas, and then Circle K gas, and then another little local gas station, Moon Ridge Fuel. On the corner of Moon Ridge Road and Big Bear Boulevard, pretty good prices as well. But I go to 7-Eleven Gas because it's, it, it's it's usually the cheapest up here. I know that's not too exciting to have to fill up at 7-Eleven. I'd like to fill up at like Chevron or Shell or some good high quality gas. But with prices as they are, you know, you just got to take take what you can get. Man, this, this sun and this, this is just so beautiful. All this reflection right now is so beautiful. Look at all these people leaving, coming back from Big Bear. Hope everyone had fun. Hope you guys drive safe back down. And get your buns back up here sooner than later, you guys, because we need you to come up to Big Bear. Next left is a town called, you drive up a few miles, I think it's about four miles, it's called Green Valley Lake. And I thought it got the most snow in the whole mountain range because of its elevation and location on the mountain range. But 
I was wrong. I was wrong. It seems like Big Bear still gets more snow. I just learned this when I've been telling everyone that it has to snow more up here um, in Green Valley Lake. So you'd make a left hand turn here and then you drive up about four miles uphill the whole way. And you'll be in Green Valley Lake. Very tiny little town. I'd like to find some way to get an Airbnb up there just for my wife and myself and do a little recording for you guys so you guys can see. Temperature is 47 degrees. It's dropped seven degrees since we started near the bottom, which isn't that much for the elevation that we have climbed. Can you guys see why I chose to come up this way and go down 38 because of this, because of the traffic. But it was also because I wanted to show you guys the two major routes in and out of Big Bear on the front side. And I'm accomplishing that, so that makes me happy. to a sledding location where you pay to go sledding and then just past that on the right hand side is Snow Valley Ski Resort owned by Big Bear Mountain Resorts so it's part of our it's, it's part of our mountain now <laughs> This is the sledding area. And we're coming up, as I said, to Snow Valley Ski Resort. All right, I've had enough. Oh my gosh, holy 
holy smokes! Snow Valley, baby! I'm still human, okay? I'm still human. I did pretty darn well driving up. Seven miles to Big Bear Lake from this point. Yeah, this traffic is just crazy. If you guys are ever leaving Big Bear on a Sunday, trust me, take Highway 38. It's a little bit longer, but you'll get down there so much faster. So much faster. I promise you. Even if you're staying over in Boulder Bay and you have to drive all the way to the other side of town, to catch Highway 38, it's well worth it. It is well worth it. at 22 miles per hour. We'll be in Big Bear by tomorrow. Holy smokes, look at the traffic. These guys do not realize that it's basically about more than three quarters of the way down, this traffic. Oh man, such a bummer. I hope you guys got some good music for your car and some good snacks. It was 44 degrees. Remember when I left town today, it was over 50 degrees. Really warm for January.
I've seen snow berms on, on this road, the little Arctic Circle, this part of Highway 18, 10 feet high. The good thing is, is that you have nothing to worry about about going over the edge at all. <laughs> because if you hit those berms, you're not going anywhere. Having some sledding fun, right on, right on. <laughs> wow, this traffic is epic. Remember, Sunday is worst day, you guys. Worst day to, to go down the mountain because of traffic. We got another passing lane coming up here. I hope no one gets bummed out at me for passing people, but it's legal. I'm not doing anything wrong, but I'm definitely gonna be passing these people. After this right and then left, we will have the passing lane open up. Gorgeous, man, just gorgeous. All right, so after this left, the passing lane opens up as we turn to the right. See that sign, slower traffic, keep right. All right, here we go. you have no more traffic then I like to utilize both lanes that's my wife giving me a buzz but I am focused on the road right now so I need to be extra cautious gonna be happy about what I'm doing but it's 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 fine there's no one on either side of me not for a long way and we're just trying to be as safe as possible using both lanes while we're going a little faster through the turns and I have never exceeded the speed limit which is 55 so don't be bummed Temperature is now 42 degrees. Look at that. Look at the sun at the top of the mountain right there. That is so unbelievably gorgeous. Wow, 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 wow. I am so lucky to live here. I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. I 
haven't seen traffic like this in a long time. Again, I knew coming up that there wasn't going to be any traffic, just drivers who don't pay attention. That's the last of the traffic. That is so pretty. It looks like gold up there. made it to Big Bear guys. I love these F-150s right in front of us. Such a beautiful truck. Such a beautiful truck. Hey guys, here we are. We are about to enter beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. As I said, once we get, I said it in, oh my gosh, look at those colors. Once we get through the village, that, then we'll we'll shut off this video, but look at those colors. So beautiful. Wow. I knew this would be the perfect time to drive up. I knew it would be. It's just so beautiful. Temperature is 43 degrees as we're entering Papoose Bay and Boulder Bay in Big Bear. Here's a big hiking trail right here, um, Castle Rock right here, right where you're at the Big Bear uh, Lake city limits. It's not a long hike, but it's grueling because it's so steep.
coming up to Boulder Bay. One of my favorite places in all of Big Bear, right here. like I'm flying but the speed limit's 40 and I'm going 40. Through the camera it looks like I'm going way faster than I am. Oh it smells like a fire. Like like a fireplace. I love that smell. It's so beautiful. started at the bottom so it hasn't been that drastic of a of a departure of high temperature but to the village y'all hey sorry my love I'm recording but I'm just getting back into Big Bear now sorry I couldn't answer the phone You can pay to go sledding here or ride the roller coaster. It's just awesome. It's just awesome. That's called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. Whew, we made it, folks. We made it. My patience was tested a little bit, but Again, even though I got a little impatient towards the end there, it's a huge improvement. I hope you guys can see that. The one car that I was accidentally tailgating when I was trying to get into the passing lane, like I didn't expect him to get into the, the passing lane either because he was the slowest car on the road. So I gunned it and then he switches into the fast lane. It's like, geez Louise. So I apologize about that, you guys. I don't want you know, anyone to get mad at me about this stuff. I am human. I'm doing the best I can. I do get frustrated. As always, I like to point out my, my, my favorite luxury hotel up here. This is the club at Big Bear Village, a blue-green resort. My wife and I stayed in a three-bedroom spot there and we got a huge deal. Um, they even took us on a tour of the presidential suites there. 
They're like four bedrooms, two stories, just absolutely epic, just so beautiful. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in the beautiful village right now, as you can tell. crowded as it is, I would have never imagined that traffic is. You're welcome. What are the manners these days? Seriously. If someone lets me go, I'm waving, thanking them, sending them something nice in the mail and stuff. As I've told you guys, my favorite restaurant up here is the next left, and it's in this first first building, or maybe second building on the left-hand side. It's called the Himalayan. Really wonderful Indian food. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cool thing is, is that lots of the people that work there watch the channel, so it's it's super cool. Every time I I go in, they're they're, they're always asking me when it's gonna snow and. Um, you know how cold it, how cold it's gonna get. It's it's really cool. It makes me smile. It really does. All right, we were gonna go left and go through this part of the village, but you know what? We're just gonna bypass it and be done with this long drive. Yeah, usually we'd be going left here to finish off the village. But this is crazy. All right, guys. Again, thank you for being patient with me. I know I kind of lost my patience a little bit on this drive, but not not that bad. I mean, not not that bad. Again, I do need to be more patient with people driving up here, but following the basic just rules of the road, not not even the laws, but just like, you know, unwritten rules of the road and stuff. I get frustrated and and I really shouldn't but thanks again for being here. Hope you guys hit the like and subscribe button. Help me out. I do work my buns off for this. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate. I always want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the best advice and helping you out the best of my ability. I want you to have an amazing time up here. I want you to get here safe and sound. So hit me up. Don't forget if you want some awesome, awesome top quality merchandise, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. Um, yeah, fantastic stuff. And last but not least, if you want your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards. Ski rentals and snowboard rentals on Big Bear Boulevard. They have a couple different shops right next to the village on Big Bear Boulevard. Phenomenal shops, phenomenal products. I'm, I'm going to be doing a video in that shop, in, in probably both of their shops, in the next two weeks or so. Because I really want you guys to see what I am trying to represent for y'all. This place is... Amazing. The owner Tony is amazing. Your ski rentals will be way cheaper there than at the mountain itself. And if you want to buy your lift tickets online, go to getboards.com and get your lift tickets there. Thanks again for everything. Congratulations again to all, all three winners of our most recent giveaway. And uh, yeah, take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out January 14th, 2024, my folks. Love y'all. Bye.